Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerry Nicomicea, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram girl for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads. You guys know when it comes to revamping my wardrobe, I've been taking you guys on this journey with me. I share tips, I share what's been working, what doesn't work. I love sharing these things with you guys because I feel like it has definitely helped Help me curate a wardrobe that I absolutely love. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to curate a sustainable, luxurious wardrobe. Now, when it comes to luxury, I feel like a lot of people think luxury has to be like these high expensive things or these fabulous things that you only wear every now and again. For me, I feel like I want to look luxurious and have luxurious pieces in my day-to-day -day life. I want to look luxurious no matter where I go, whether I'm going to run errands, I'm going to a doctor's appointment. I always want to look luxurious and put together in my day-to-day life so I feel like the wardrobe that I have created and curated I love it today's so, video I'm pretty much gonna be sharing some tips but also sharing some luxurious sustainable fashion pieces that I picked up that I think you guys will absolutely love for your day-to-day -day spring look so if you're interested in this video girl just keep watching you guys know when it comes to searching for high quality sustainable luxury pieces I'm always looking for those items and I'm always sharing those items with you guys so today I have a brand that I actually want to share with you guys and this is going to be Quince so this portion of the video is sponsored by Quince thanks so much to Quince for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now Quince is launching their spring capsule and I was able to handpick a few pieces from this collection and when I tell you guys I love okay if these pieces are just great for every single day no matter if I'm going to lunch brunch dinner or whatever you guys know right now I'm just in the space where I want high quality pieces that I can wear any and everywhere and these pieces did not disappoint right now as we transition from winter to spring I feel like Quince has a great selection and the thing that stopped me in my tracks and had me like gasping for air was the fact that Quince not only allow you a 365 day return period but they have free shipping on all orders shipping on all orders and 365 days to return it sign me up okay <laughs> let's get into these pieces because they are good okay for the first piece I have to share this one first because this is like almost my favorite piece because I'm so excited about this it is a hundred percent silk mini skirt now baby I've always wanted to be a silk mini skirt girl or even a maxi skirt it has been the hardest challenge to find silk or satin mini skirts that fit over my body. A lot of times they don't have stretch, so they don't really look flattering on me, y'all. I love this. I love it. I love the fact that it's a mini skirt because you guys know I'm in my soft girl era. I want to be a little more feminine, and I think these skirts are amazing. I love these skirts also because I got it in two colors. That's how much I love it, and I'm also on the waiting list for the black because, of course, I need the black. I got it in this chocolate, and I got it in a champagne yummy now i love these skirts so much because not only can i wear them in spring summer but i can also pull these out in fall winter now in the fall winter i would definitely wear these with like stockings tights and some boots because uh, so good with like a turtleneck a jacket a trench or whatever i want to um dress this up with i can do that i love the fact that these also have an elastic waistband so i don't have to worry about zipping it up because that's usually my problem with um any silk pieces i get especially bottoms you guys know I am bottom heavy so a lot of the pieces they just don't look flattering on me and I feel like the elastic waistband was a perfect touch on these skirts so I definitely will recommend this I also got this skirt in a extra large if you're a curvy girl I would definitely say size up the extra large was perfect I feel like the large would have been a little too short and that's not the look that I'm going for so I'm happy that I did size up in this next up I picked up a bodysuit because I'm trying to give bodysuits a chance again I did stop buying them because they would always be super uncomfortable and just I'll be over it after an hour. I'm happy but I did pick up this bodysuit because it's very soft. It doesn't give me that restricted bodysuit feel. This is a little more on the lighter side. It's lightweight, so it's, it is breathable. I like this. I feel like I love it with the skirts, but when I tried it on with jeans, I was obsessed with it because I also can fit jeans again, so I'm excited to wear like a bodysuit with jeans. And this bodysuit is just good. I feel like it was flattering on my body. I love the fact that the cut is not, I'm actually wearing it now, is not too high up, but it's not too low where I feel like I'm showing too much so I can definitely wear this different places without feeling uncomfortable and also I love the fact that the um straps on this is not spaghetti straps but it's not 
thick. It's like maybe a two finger or a one and a half finger strap. It's just different and this is something that I absolutely don't have in my collection and also with this uh, bodysuit, I have on a bra and you can't even tell. So anytime I can wear my support with a bodysuit, I love that. With my bodysuits that I did have, I got rid of 90% of my bodysuits. I literally have maybe three to four bodysuits, not including this one, in my wardrobe because they just didn't do it for me and it just wasn't flattering on my body. I'm gonna buy things that's not only cute, but I'm actually gonna pick them up and wear them. Now in this bodysuit, I did get a size large and I'm happy I did. It is stretchy, but I feel like I'm happy I sized up to the large and I didn't get like a medium, which I usually do in my bodysuits. I got the large because I did want some extra room and I wanted it to be comfortable. And this bodysuit is exactly that. So next up, I picked up this ribbed one shoulder top. You guys know, anytime I could show a little arm, my back, or my legs, sign me up. It is my vibe. So I picked up this top because I thought this would be perfect for spring. And as you guys can see, the pieces I picked up, I'm kind of like sticking to the same color palette that I had during fall, winter. But I want to like zhuzh it up for spring. I'm not as bright and vibrant right now. Maybe when we move into like the summertime, I'll pull out the more vibrant colors. Lately, like just in my day-to-day -day life, I've actually been loving like the neutrals and earth tones. And maybe sometimes I'll like add like a fun color bag or something. But I thought this top was good because it is this deep chocolate brown and it can mix and match with pieces already in my wardrobe all of the pieces that I picked up from Quince can be mixed and matched with things I already have and just give me like a more clean elevated look but this one shoulder top it's everything okay I did size down in this anytime I see a piece that says it's ribbed I'm gonna size down because ribbed pieces are usually very stretchy and I want them to be more form-fitted so I did size down and got a medium in this and I'm happy I did because I feel like the large wouldn't have fit like this this is also a crop top it comes in a few other colors but I did go with the chocolate brown because right now something about chocolate brown it just has me in the chokehold especially when you mix it with like white or cream or orange Ugh, it's just so good Good to me. I so, ended up pairing this chocolate top with these amazing linen shorts. Now, this is another thing that caught me off guard, and I didn't think I would actually love it the way I did because y'all, I have nothing in my closet that's linen. I don't buy it, I just pass it up. But I was like, let me try it out, but let me stay in my comfort zone. So I did get a pair of shorts that I can wear during the warmer months. I can take these on vacation, I can wear these to the pool. I love these shorts, and I also got them in like this gorgeous olive green. I love them because they're flattering. They're not thick. I don't know what I thought linen would be. They're very flattering on me. They're not thick. They're lightweight. And I love the fact that it has the drawstring waistline because you guys know my weight is always up and down and I still want pieces that will look flattering on me but pieces if I gain weight or lose weight I could still pull out and feel comfortable in these. But this little combo and I just pair it with a nice pair of slides. During the summertime you can wear a nice bag, crossbody or a shoulder bag. Whatever you want you can put on a hat. I just feel like this little combo is perfect for the spring and the warmer months. I would say these shorts actually run true to size. I got an extra large. Anytime I'm buying skirts or shorts, I like to uh, size up and get like extra larges and I love the way they fit. I do have a little room in the waist, but I'd rather have a little room in the waist and I can just like pull the drawstring a little tighter versus having these shorts be too short or too tight around my hips and butt area. So I would definitely say they're true to size. If you want a little looser fit, size up. Next I picked up this woman crossbody, but also it can be a clutch bag. I don't have anything in my wardrobe like this and I don't have any colors like this. So I thought this would be a great addition to my handbag collection, but also it can mix and match once again with a lot of things in my wardrobe and all of the things that I'm showing you guys in this video that I picked from Quince, this handbag can be mixed and matched with those things also. So I love that. Now with the crossbody strap, it's not detachable, but you can adjust it to the length that you want it to be. It is 100% leather and I, this bag does have a magnetic closure. It's not that big. It does fit my phone, my rose water, lip gloss, all of the things that I need for my day-to-day -day running, but I like it. Last but certainly not least is two items that since I opened the package, I've been wearing these items, y'all, and I love it. It is going to be these maxi sundresses. Now, with these dresses, I would recommend sizing down. This dress has a lot of stretch, but I did not know that, so I did get a large. The large still looks good on me. I am short, so it is a little long. I don't mind the dress being long. It gives me like a mermaid vibe. I love the fact that it flares out at the bottom. It's not a straight cut. Girl, I love this dress. It is so flattering. I did get it, like I said, 
in the large. I wish I would have got a medium just to get more of that form fit, especially in like the mid area. I do have a little room, but this is a good throw on. When I tell y'all, anytime I don't want to think hard or I feel like, uh, I don't feel like it, but I still want to look cute, y'all. I pick up these dresses. I got it in brown, I got it in black, and I actually ordered the gray and put my name on the list. They have like this tannish color. I had to get that one too, but I had to put my name on the list. Anything on the website that you don't see your size in, definitely put your name on the um, notifications list. They can let you know when your size is in stock. But these dresses are amazing. The straps can be adjusted. And when I tell y'all, these dresses are show stoppers like i said i have to go back to get more because i live in these two dresses I'm pulling for these two dresses at least twice a week like at this point these are like my go-to pieces and what i love most about these dresses when i wear them i feel pretty i feel confident and i feel put together and baby the body is body okay you see it's in the dress Hey girlfriend, so those are all the pieces that I picked up from Quince and I would 10 out of 10 highly recommend these pieces. One thing I do love and admire about the brand, you can tell that they go out of their way to give you sustainable, affordable luxury pieces and that is exactly what I got. If you order from them, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You will actually love the quality of the pieces. I love the fact that Quince used premium materials that will actually stand the test of time. And I personally just feel like quality should not be a luxury, it should be a standard. And when I was scrolling on their website, every single item was literally just luxurious and even the reviews on the website was saying the same thing so if you are interested in any of these pieces I'm gonna link all of them down below with my sizes so definitely check them out if you're interested once again thanks so much to Quince for sponsoring this portion of the video let's move into three tips that literally changed my wardrobe and when I tell y'all just these three things changed the game for me changed the way I shop and it literally switched my wardrobe and now I literally love everything in my closet okay tip number one is nothing new I started to focus on quality versus quantity so I may not have a hundred and one pieces in my closet I wanted every single piece in my closet to be high quality pieces okay so I started to focus on the quality I don't care how many pieces I have I wanted to make sure every single thing that I would buy would be high quality so if I get something and I did not like the quality I would definitely return it I do not believe in oh it was on sale I'm gonna just keep it no because I'm not gonna wear it so I started to return things that I didn't like and certain places if I would keep shopping there and I will continue to get the same quality I stopped shopping there so I was excited to work with Quince because I I've always heard great things about them, but now I was able to experience it for myself. And I truly want only high quality pieces in my closet now. And when you get a closet full of high quality pieces, even the way you dress, the way you look, you're gonna just look so put together. And I always tell y'all, you can look at an outfit and see the quality is there, okay? So focus on the quality, not the quantity. Now the second tip goes hand in hand with the first one and it is sustainability is key. You want high quality sustainable pieces in your closet because it's gonna help you save money. You may spend a large lump sum on one piece, but that piece is gonna carry you, okay? It's gonna take you from season to season to season versus every year you're constantly having to buy the same pieces over and over. You wanna make sure you are investing in sustainable pieces. That's why I say this tip goes hand in hand with the first one. You're focusing on the quality you want high quality sustainable pieces and I feel like it is definitely time to focus on the quality of the pieces and I promise you once you start to purge out your closet and you start to add those high quality sustainable pieces even when you get dressed on your day to day you're gonna just be like hold on I like this like you can literally be let's say you're at a restaurant someone can literally have on a maxi dress you can tell if she have on a nice quality maxi dress versus if the, the maxi dress is not of quality it's just gonna make you look so clean put together and you can have on nothing a pair of slides some sunglasses and a maxi dress if that dress is high quality the dress is gonna speak for itself so you want sustainable pieces that can literally be in your wardrobe for years and years to come and it will stand the test of time I feel like right now is the perfect time to focus on the quality so you can build and carry the sustainable sustainable wardrobe. Last tip is be realistic when trying to build a luxurious, sustainable, high quality wardrobe. 
let's be realistic. I feel like when people think of luxury, they think of all of the higher end brands and you kind of like look over the more affordable luxury. There are so many amazing affordable luxury brands out there that people are overlooking. And I feel like those are the brands that's going to actually carry your wardrobe versus trying to go to a higher end store and you're paying hundreds and thousands of dollars on one piece at a time trying to build a collection versus going to a more affordable luxury brand or a luxury store. I would definitely say just be a little more realistic and start seeking out affordable luxury brands such as Quince and there's so many other brands out there that you can actually shop for day-to-day -day pieces and you don't have to break the bank in order to have a nice wardrobe. Now like I said these are actually the three things that actually changed the game for me, changed the way I shop and the more I would focus on these key three things, quality versus quantity, the sustainability of different pieces whether it's fashions, it's accessories, whatever it may be and also just just being more realistic on what luxury looks like for a day-to-day -day person and once I started to focus on these things y'all I absolutely love my wardrobe I do not have a whole lot of fast fashions I don't have a lot of pieces that I'm like oh this is cute but I really don't wear this because I don't like the way it lay on my body or it looks cheap once I start focusing on these things it's like I started to shop different if you guys realize on my channel I don't do a lot of fashion hauls I don't do a lot of hauling clothes because I don't shop that way so anytime I bring pieces to you guys I always want to make sure they are high quality sustainable pieces because that's the way I shop now and I don't want to just bring you guys things that I would wear and even the pieces that I showed you guys in the video today you guys are actually going to see me wear these things I have so many pieces in my closet that people are always like where did you get that I'm like girl this is 10 years old and you can see a piece and this it does not look 10 years old it's all about the quality okay so these are the tips that has been helping me over the past year and a half as I revamp my wardrobe and as I learn new things and different tips and different brands and different finds I'm going to share it with you guys so we can all curate a affordable luxurious wardrobe that we all love girl that is all that I have for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you're interested in anything in the video I'm going to link everything down below like share comment subscribe my girl and I will see you girls in the next one